Okay. Now we can finally get started. Uh, it's going to be different. I don't normally stream this freaking early. It's like 4 a.m. for me. But, uh, and I'm cutting it kind of close to when I have to get on the, start getting ready for the bus for uh, school. But I am excited to be streaming with you guys again, obviously. In the story tradition of it. Oh my god. Hold on. Gotta wait for Nick to show up. Are you here? Hold on. Alright. So I'm gonna do something a little different. I don't normally do this on stream. Normally I just color whatever I, uh, whatever I draw on this stream, but lately I've been getting a bit more confident with as long as the thing decides to load. Thank you. Uh, with, uh, getting a bit more confident with drawing from start to finish on this damn thing. Finding the right camera angle is always a struggle. Pull back the camera a little bit. Oh my god. There we go. It's a little too close for my liking though. There, now you can see it. See? I haven't lost my touch at all. I got this. I might have to draw... Um... I thought I... I thought I, uh... I thought I, um... I thought I disabled Moopbot. I'm pretty sure I disabled Moopbot. Did you go in and reactivate it? I'm so confused. I'm not expecting like a huge crowd or anything. This is just so that you guys can see it for later. I guess I'll tell the guy I'm live right now, why not? Okay, so I'm working on um, the I'm trying to work on anyway the Spartan prompts hoping that maybe I could turn some of them into deck art prompts too. I 
I know this usually happens. Um, I get caught up in overthinking the prompts and then I'm behind. I've done most of them already. Okay, no, that's not right. If you're gonna do the little crystals, crystal embeds, you gotta do it right. Some of them slope like a mountain and others peak up. You know, like what crystals do. They go up. I don't think it has to be 100% like the picture, as long as I captured the essence of it. I've never tried to draw... You see, I normally draw the easiest version of crystal clusters to draw. I never draw them like the super teeny tiny little shards. I think I've drawn some of them once. I think I wanted to try to draw rock candy, candy which kind of operates the same way. Where it's like little tiny tiny pieces of of crystal sugar crystals. That's why I like rock candy. Because it's crystals and it's candy. It's crystal candy. How can you not like that? Well, other than the fact that it might ruin your teeth. There is that reason. I'm sorry guys. School has been taking up a lot of my time, but I haven't given up. I just want you guys to know that. I'm still gonna try to post art and play games and stuff. It's just that it's hard to find time to do some of this. So I might have to sneak in a few times just before I have to go on the bus. And sometimes I might, you know, hypothetically fall asleep when I'm supposed to be trying to get ready. For the stream <laughs> or hypothetically I might want to stay on my couch curled up in a blanket rather than going downstairs where it's super cold you know those could be all be hypothetical truths but you will never know <laughs> man I should borrow the heater more often. My office is so much warmer now. I have to return it back to upstairs though, because then mom's going to be like... The living room is cold now. getting coffee. Okay. So, Moobot used to be one of the first bots that I used, but it had all these extra features that were expensive and stuff, so I don't know, maybe, maybe somebody has hacked my account. Maybe I should change my password again. I don't know, my Facebook hasn't given any indication that I had gotten hacked. No one has said that I got a suspicious, they got a suspicious code from me. Other than that one email that I got that had group, huge group message. I don't know, maybe it's better to be safe than sorry. I haven't even told my parents about it yet because I'm not sure if I got hacked or if someone mistook my email when it was at the school. That just goes to show, let me give you a lesson guys, always log out of your emails at school because you never know if someone wants to hack your email for no good fucking reason. Sorry, I didn't used to curse this much, but lately I've just gotten so frustrated with the pandemic and the world that I'm like, 
I might die anytime soon, so screw filters. <laughs> I used to have like an automated filter if I was talking to like adults or to my peers, but nowadays I'm like, F it, I'm Scottish. I don't deserve filters. <laughs> I'm gonna speak my mind, even if people don't like it, because I'd rather be true to myself. I'm tired of hiding who I am. There is a certain Three Doors Down song I would sing, but I don't want to get copyrighted. But it's called Let Me Be Myself, and it was used in a Geico ad for the uh, cavemen, so now I know it's a super emotional song and stuff, but I can't help but, every time I listen to it, I can't help but laugh a little bit. Please, what you want, Tom? What time is it over there, Dork? Do you think that that she might be super confused? Like she might wake up early and be like, Wait, she's streaming now? see what I got so far. I don't know if I can show you the picture, but it's pretty close. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get it like the prompt in the picture. But I'm doing surprisingly good at the small crystal cluster thing. I was going to be like, oh no, it has shards and little cr crystals. I'm not going to be able to do this. But once you break it down by these shapes, it's really not that scary. say thank you to those who are patient and are willing to stick around. I was never really a slow artist, but lately I've been trying to update slower so I can work on my schoolwork and so that I can do a more quality over quantity. Because I feel like sometimes I post just a post and then my artwork or line work isn't as good as it could be. So lately, you know, I'm thinking one day I might get discovered or be given a freelance job and I don't want them to think that I can't do, that I can't um, do, uh, what's it, I can't do slower work. Like, um, the longest I think that I've worked on a piece is three months, I think. And that was for art class. But still, three months is a long time for me. guiding line to make sure that there's a line in between the crystal shards. And this one that goes like this. And then there's like a wall here. I'm gonna do another line so I can... I'll erase the guiding line as soon as I'm done making this wall. It stretches out more this way, and it's more subtle this way.
it's kind of hard because some of them kind of clump together and some of them are kind of more further apart. I guess it depends on how much I want it to look like the picture. This is a different crystal cluster shape that I'm used to drawing. But it is kind of curious that the guy that usually does the the sperm prompts decided to do a crystal shard this week. Is he trying to bait me? <laughs> he knows I'm going to want to try this. It is so scary, actually. I can see why Thunder was so nervous. It's like one thing for you guys to see how I color my pieces, but how I do my line work? Like, it is scary. I can see why Thunder gets scared sometimes when she was doing the dogs. I think it's pretty clear to see from how many times I'm erasing that I'm kind of a perfectionist. I just want the artwork to look as good as it can be. I do realize that seems kind of silly and all arbitrary. Because by trying to be perfect, sometimes you you cause even more imperfection in the process sometimes in my experience sometimes that's why a lot of my sketches are messy because that way I can just clean it up in the coloring that's why the lines are a little darker as well so you guys can see what I'm doing In art class, it's always recommended that the lines are lighter so that when you go to erase, it doesn't smudge. But I'm not always good at, uh, good at doing what they told you to do in art class. In fact, some of the stuff that I do in my artwork all the time, a lot of my teachers were like, some of them are like, why cross hatching? And I'm like, why not? It's used in comic books. It's used in old Renaissance work. In fact, the tilt to the side cross hatching that I do, the technique is actually technically called the Da Vinci. So I'm actually doing my sketches like Leonardo Da Vinci. So I should. <laughs> I don't know if they're exactly like that. If Leonardo da Vinci decided to become a weeb, that's what it would be like. <laughs> I'm kidding. Ugh. Who's to say he wasn't? I'm sure he read a lot of Japanese work. I don't know. We'll never know what our heroes were truly like. We just make assumptions. What's this? Okay, so there's like this crystal.
crystal shard, these crystal shards are white. I gotta remember that. They're supposed to be white. Do not color these at the bottom. Don't do it. They're not purple. They're white. I think that's the hardest part, is for me to not want to color everything. When a piece doesn't have to be colored. Sometimes I decide to leave it black and white because I feel like it looks better that way. Obviously it's a beginning piece. Sometimes I color those, sometimes I go, well, it's supposed to be black and white to show the duality of light and dark. So maybe I shouldn't color it. That kind of thing. Okay. And then this side. There's a, oh, there's a point. I'm not saying that he wants it to look exactly like the photo, but I'm going to do it as well as I can. To the best of my ability and maybe I'll redo it in a year or two and see if I've improved my on my crystal shard shapes. I draw crystals all the time but usually it's the same shape it's never this clumpy it's never like in clumps like this so this is actually new for me I've drawn crystal clusters yes but not crystal clumps And I kind of like this. This is kind of exciting. Obviously, I'm kind of sticking with the same shape I'm familiar with. But doing it smaller so it appears like... It's practically the same shapes, actually. Some of them are more diamond-esque. Like some of them are more like... But I don't know if I can do those shapes yet. So... I'm modding it a little bit, obviously. Do a little smaller crystals on this side, because it doesn't climb up on that side. It just mostly stays small. So, do the smaller crystals. Sometimes I do this to remind myself to do stuff. Sometimes I do like notes to myself out loud so I don't lose track of the task. That's what happens when you're on the spectrum. Sometimes you're like, I have to talk to myself out loud to remind myself what I'm doing so I don't get lost in a la la land in a tangent. Oh, and if you see the moments where I'm drifting off into space, it's not because I'm on drugs. It's because <laughs> I have ADHD <laughs> and autism, so I might drift off from time to time in a daydream. And don't ask me what the daydreams are about. They can be random stuff like, I wonder if I can draw a cat shooting laser beams riding a shark. I don't know why I would, but sometimes I want to do weird stuff. And in my experience, weird stuff does good. One time I did this edit of this cat with, eye with glasses and wings. And I... My... At first, my friends and family, when they found out I wanted to print out my weird edits to sell at conventions, they were like, maybe you should just stick with your uh, fan art portraits and 
you have portraits of your characters, and I'm like, no, I'm telling you, this this might sell. And it did. Like, most of the art that sold was my weird, quirky edits, like the flower mermaid. I took, uh, so basically my prickly pear had grown a flower, and I decided to edit a, edit it as a, with a mermaid fin in the sea. For no reason at all, by the way, I just wanted to be weird. And so many prints sold. I'd say I sold like 20 of those. And it kind of gave me confidence to do weird art again. Because for a while I was not sure how people would receive weird stuff. You know? together though. You haven't colored it yet. <laughs> you might ruin it by coloring it. Sometimes I feel like the sketches turns out good and then somehow I screw up in the coloring. I go, oh damn it. <laughs> Hopefully that will happen. I'm kind of on a time crunch today, so if I keep looking at the clock, it's not because I want to rush our time together. It's because I literally have to go on the bus in a couple of hours. So I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. I might not color the backgrounds during the stream this time to save time. You still there, Dork? Keep me company. No, that's pink. I need purple. Okay. Purple, 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 purple. No, that's black. I might need that though for shading. Raspberry might work. I'm not saying purple. Dork. They are metallic pens. I want to see if they work good. I know some Crayola pen, uh, Crayola markers tend to be kind of cheap in quality. So I like their pencils, but their markers are sometimes not that good. So we'll see. Maybe this will be an instant hit for me, and I'll get metallic markers and metallic colored pencils. Maybe I should only use it for the outline. Oh, oh what's that? The heater turned on. I didn't ask you to turn on. That freaked me out. I was like, what happened? 
My office is warm enough now. I don't need it. I could just take it back upstairs now. I'm actually making good time. I'm trying to be careful with the lines though. On the small crystal bits, I'm kind of nervous using marker for this. I'm only going to do the outlines in marker, I think. I'm going to use pencil for the actual coloring part. Because I do not trust marker for this one. Fully. Well, hi everyone! How am I supposed to know that, dork? You're not saying anything to me. You're not saying, that's cool, or, or, you know, you can talk about anything, just as long as it's not, you know. The thing. Talk to you too. That's the other role for you and Thunder besides watching the chat is talking to me to make sure I'm not nervous and stuff. I get stage fright, you know that. Having just someone to talk to prevents me from 
Just sitting there and drawing and not talking. I'm excited for Good Omen Season 2. I don't know what's going to happen in it because there's only one book in the series, but maybe Neil Gaiman's going to write more books. After 30 years, he wrote that book with his associate, uh, with his friend. I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm pretty sure the co-writer is gone, which is kind of sad. It's okay. Usually, 
I do my edits on Pixar and usually that's on my phone. So what I was thinking is one of these days I could put my phone down on my desk and you guys could see me do a photo edit. So a photo edit is I might take I don't know, a random picture from the app and tweak it and uh, tweak the background. Most of the time I edit my own work. Sometimes I'll draw something like this, right? And then I'll put it in Pixar and I'll use some of the background elements that they have. Like if they have a waterfall sticker, I'll be able to add a waterfall. To the background or something. Usually it just helps me get details in that I might not be able to get in myself. Thank you. I'm feeling a little bit better now actually. I've been having a little bit of self-doubt because some people... I... I for firmly believe that you can just love art for the sake of doing art or loving art, but sometimes I fall into the social media trap where I feel like my art needs to be validated by how many people like it or follow me and I really shouldn't think like that. I should just love streaming and doing art because it's fun. Or it should be fun, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I'll think of a name when I post it on Twitter and Instagram. Something like... Something like Amethyst Dream or... The Innocence... Crystallized Innocence or something like that. I usually like really big fancy titles. Girl, don't dare. Lay down. cheesy titles and sometimes on Instagram I'll I'll post uh, poems to go with it in the description of the drawing not all the pictures have poems by the way some of them don't they're just based on what I feel inspired by to do like sometimes I'll go, well, maybe I can try to do a poem. I usually don't do them if I'm trying to force them. I don't want to force it down people's throats. Or I don't want to force it down my throat, you know? I kind of do... There are different kinds of poetry, by the way. What I like to do is called vent poetry or confessional poetry. Basically, it's like you confess something that you don't want to admit to yourself kind of or you're confessing your deepest feelings it can be a love confession or it can be a confession of hatred or of sadness it doesn't really matter it was a self-therapy tool that my counselor recommended to me in high school but i had been starting to write poems since i was in middle school uh in middle school i gained a deep appreciation for poetry you know, and uh, I started writing some, and I even started writing lyrics to my own songs, but I haven't done that in a while. As soon as I'm finished with this, uh, I can actually turn it around now so you guys can actually see the full picture. I turned it, I was drawing upside down because my camera is facing in a way where I can't show you the drawing when it's 
right side up when I'm actually sketching it out. Unless I tilt it. I can, I can read upside down. And sometimes I can draw upside down, but it's kind of uncomfortable. So I didn't want to draw upside down.
phone because she's dead. Actually, it might be better if I use the blue Sharpie instead of the black one. I'm just having a feeling I'm not going to do the right call. This part of the crystal is supposed to be white, but maybe I can go over it in black sharpie. Hmm. I can still kind of leave it white. I just gotta. There's the pen drop. Um, so after this, I might do the snail or I might do a deck art prompt. I want to see if I can turn one of the wine arts that I did previously this week into one of the deck art prompts instead. That's kind of what I do. I somehow try to work my, my common work into the deck art prompts somehow. I'm like, oh, this is um, asymmetrical because of this. <laughs> so that way I don't have to... Okay, I'm making little tiny crystal bits in this part. They're teeny tiny. Good news is though we're almost done with this one. Normally I would color the background as well, but I'm kind of short on time tonight. I apologize, but I'll be just doing the subjects today, as in the main focus of the drawing. Maybe I will color the background in post when I get back from school. We'll see. I know you guys are so used to me doing it from start to finish. Well, at least from line art start to coloring. Thank you, Dork. Thank you, Nick. I was kind of nervous at first about this sperm prompt because I don't normally draw, when I do draw crystal clusters, I don't normally draw the little teeny tiny shards like this. Normally I draw the ones that are bigger and clumpier because they're easier to draw. But once I broke down the shapes and everything, it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. I was like, oh no, I'm gonna fail at this. It's gonna look bad, but it's really not that bad.
damn it. See if the alcohol, the alcohol markers can overtake the metallic ones. Yeah, I think it
This is something I've always wanted to try and see. These highlighters claim to be non-smear. So let's see if they're right. I should be able to make the hints the crystal thingy without having to have it smeared with the markers we just used. And if it does, I call false advertising. Good? Good. There's that song that I said sounded kind of like Listen to Your Heart one time on a stream. Uh, I feel like this crystal kind of got a little too... I can still save it. It's a little bit darker than the others, but you know, hey, we will go with the color spectrum here. So pencils in the box besides these, right? These look more pinkish to me than purple.
someone calling me? Oh no, I think that's my mom's alarm. I think we did it. I honestly think we accomplished what we set out to do today. It cut it kind of close, I will admit. Actually, before I go, I want to do the crystal clusters at the bottom. And if there is a dark gray marker, I can finish this up. It's this dark gray.
this area. Let them call it the blah. kind of ending abruptly but this is all I have time for really is one drawing I guess I have to go now thank you all for stopping by this is probably the very first drawing that I did from start to finish on stream so count yourself lucky to whoever who saw this live um, I have to go and get ready so thank you all for stopping by and for the new follows on social media and all of that. I appreciate your support on my Iron Gaming videos. Until then, I'm probably going to do... I'll probably have time to do like a frame around the drawing or something to make it more interesting. I apologize that the background is too staticky. about it. So what color should I do? What would be a good color to go with the colors I chose? And here's the final product. I know it's not as grandiose as I usually make it, but I don't really have the time to uh, finish it from start to finish like I usually do. So um, I will probably do the background coloring off stream. And I appreciate anybody who came to see this. Alright, 